Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're learning how to add vectors in three dimensions, uh, and specifically we're learning how to use all of the relations that we've been taught about unit vectors and direction cosines and things like that. So here's an interesting problem that trips a lot of people up, uh, but it will not trip you up because we'll explain it very easily. We have two vectors, F1 and F2. We know everything there is to know about F1. We know its magnitude, which is 300 newtons. We also completely know its direction because we're given all of the direction cosines. Now you should verify for yourself that these angles really are direction cosines. This vector, the angle to the x-axis is 45 degrees. That's the direction cosine for x. The vector, the measurement from the vector to the y-axis is 60 degrees, and the, the measurement from the vector all the way to the z-axis is 120 degrees. So those definitely are theta x, theta y, theta z for the direction angles. All right, so we know where this vector is pointed in space, and we know uh, that it's 300 newtons. Now notice uh, the way I've drawn it, I've kind of tried to draw it below the, uh, below the axis like that. Um, and so I want to show you that with my little mock-up I have. I'm, again, I'm not doing this with every problem, but I want to do it for occasionally to kind of help you visualize things. Um, if you look at this guy, see this is z, this is x, and this is y. This vector, what well, we're basically trying to say, the way we've drawn it here, and see the dotted line goes down below, we're trying to say is this vector is kind of tip, dipped below the axis like that. That's what we're trying to represent. So the angle to the x-axis would be this. This is theta x. The angle to the y-axis would be this. And the angle to the z-axis would be something like this. So that's just kind of a, a little uh, physical way to think about what we're talking about here. All right, so what we've learned is that we know everything about F1. F2 is off here pointed somewhere as a placeholder. We don't know anything about F2. Actually, we're trying to solve for what F2 is. But what we do know is that F1 plus F2, whatever that resultant is, is directed along the y-axis only. Only along the y-axis. And so we're trying to find F2 magnitude and direction angle. So what it's basically saying is here is a vector that we know everything about. Here is a vector that we don't know anything about. But we know that when we add them together, the resultant lies only along the y-axis. That means there's a component along y for the resultant, but there's no component along x and no component along z. That's a critical piece of information we'll use to solve the problem. And so we're trying to find out what does this vector need to be to make that happen. So let's figure out the magnitude and direction angles of F2 to make that happen. So the first thing we need to do the, the trick to all these summation problems is you want to find the Cartesian representation of your vector. Uh, and so in this case, we need to find the Cartesian representation of f sub 1. So for f1, there's many ways to write this vector in Cartesian.